Hello all. In this video, we'll learn about BCNF, that is based on trivial functional dependency, then fourth normal form based on multivalue dependency, and fifth normal form based on joint dependency. Okay. So we'll, we'll understand the definition of Poisson code normal form. Uh, a relation schema R is in BCNF if whenever a non-trivial functional dependency that is x determines a holds in r then x is a super key of r so that is whenever a non-trivial function dependency x determines a holds in r x should be the super key okay so that is uh, whenever we have a non-trivial function dependency so this x should be always a super key okay so we'll understand what is a non-trivial function dependency if an function dependency x determines y holds where y is not a subset of x then it is called as a non-trivial function dependency whenever we have a function dependency x determines y if y is not a subset of x then it is called as a non-trivial function dependency yes uh, let me explain this concept with a simple example here we have an uh, uh, a simple schema where we have three function dependency that is function dependency 1 2 and 3 and 5 uh, okay and we have uh, two candidate key that is property id and one more is county name and lot number okay we have two candidate keys uh, yes let us concentrate on fd1 so the function dependency says that the property id determines county name lot number and area okay so well uh, here it is um, uh, non-trivial function dependency because uh, county name and lot number area is not a subset of property id well that's the reason it is non-trivial function dependency and um, yes um, yeah we'll, we'll go back to the definition so whenever a non-trivial function dependency x determines a holds in r then x should be the super key of r yes uh, let me check whether it is uh, applicable to the function dependency one yes in function dependency one property id determines county name lot number and area here property id is a primary key L. yes uh, function dependency one satisfies uh, yeah let us look into fd2 yeah in fd2 county name and lot number determines area county name lot number determines property id uh, yes here county name and lot number both are candidate key um, yes function uh, even function dependency 2 is valid and let us look into the third uh, function dependency here we have got area determines county name yes is area a super key no here this is the function dependency 5 violates voice code normal form so this fd5 as you can see here where area determines county name violates voice code normal form because Whenever, uh, whenever a non-trivial function dependency x determines a, then x should be the super key. Whenever area determines county name, uh, this area should have been a super key. But unfortunately, this is not a super area is not a super key. So in that case, uh, this function dependency phi violates Boyce code normal form. So we have to convert this relation schema into Boyce code normal form. So for that, we need to decompose this table that is lots 1a table as lots 1a x and lots 1a y this is how we just decompose then uh, table into two yes as you can see here now the question is how we need to decompose now what is which function dependency is actually violated that is area determines county name so we have to just remove this county name and area and just make area as a uh, primary key for this table because actually we just we need to remove county name and we uh, and again for that uh, supportingly we need to add a, a primary key also how we how a county name can be determined using area yes uh, we just removed county so the re uh, remaining is property ID lot number and area so this is how we just decomp decompose the table into two table now I can say this table is in 
uh, voice code normal form ok yes now let us understand about the fourth normal form uh, MVD uh, yeah fourth normal form is based on multi-value dependency now so before understanding the definition of fourth normal form we'll, we'll understand what is multi-value dependency uh, MVD or multi-value dependency means that for uh, for a single value of attribute A multiple values of attribute B exist okay so usually this multi-value dependency is denoted as A multi determines B uh, yes um, let us understand this an example as you can see uh, once again I repeat the definition of uh, informal definition of uh, uh, multi-value dependency here for a single value of attribute A single value of attribute A multiple values of B exist as you can see here for geeks uh, we have uh, project Microsoft geeks uh, Oracle and also we have uh, uh, multiple multi uh, also a multi determine C as well uh, geeks uh, reading and geeks music uh, yes, so this is an example of a multi-value dependency. Uh, let us look into the formal definition of uh, uh, multi-value dependency. Uh, multi-value dependency X multi-determines Y specified on a relation schema R where X, Y, Z are subset of R. Uh, let me consider this uh, A as X, uh, B as Y and C as Z. Uh, X, Y, Z are the subset of R and we have the tuples, the T1, T2, T3 and T4 tu tuples. Okay, so as per the definition, uh, yeah, T1 is equal to T2 is equal to T3 of X and T4 of X. As you can see here, uh, tuple 1, first column, you can see if I consider the first column as X, so T1 of X is geeks is equal to T2 of X is equal to geeks. T3 of X is equal to geeks and T4 of X is equal to geeks. Yes, like in, let us look into the second row. Um, T3 of Y, let me consider this B as Y. So T3 of Y is equal to T1 of Y. T3 of Y is MS, T1 of Y is MS. Yes, both are same. And T4 of Y is equal to T2 of Y. T2 of Y is equal to ORAC and T4 of Y is equal to ORAC, Oracle. Yes, again, uh, second row. And now let us look into the third row. Uh, T3 of Z is equal to T2 of Z. Yeah, T3 of Z is music. T2 of Z is also music. And T4 of Z is equal to T1 of Z. T4 of Z is equal to reading. T1 of Z is equal to reading. So here, uh, this, uh, the, this is the definition of multi-value dependency. Okay, in the exam, we need to write a formal definition for the multi-value dependency yes just we understood what is uh, multi-value dependency now let us look and understand the the formal definition of fourth normal form a relation schema R is in fourth normal form with respect to a set of dependencies F if for every non-trivial multi-value dependency that is X multi determines Y in F X should be the super key of R okay uh, so before that we'll understand what is trivial and what is non-trivial multi-value dependency uh, and multi-value dependency X multi determines Y in R is called as trivial multi dependency if Y is a subset of X if Y is a subset of X or X union Y is equal to R Yes, and multi-value uh, function dependence that satisfies neither A nor B is called as non-trivial function dependency. Here you can see the example of a, a trivial multi-value dependency here. So as you can see here, here uh, uh, we have got a dependency that is employee name uh, multi-determines project name. So here uh, let us look into the, uh, the criteria for the first uh, rule for the multi-value dependence, first rule for the multi-value dependency. Why is subset of X? Is the project name subset of A name? No. So uh, this condition fails. Yes, we have got R symbol here. X union Y is equal to R. Yes. Is employee name union project name is equal to R? Yes. So second condition is true. So then I can come to the conclusion that this is a trivial multi-value dependency. Okay. Yes, let us understand. 
uh, as you can see a relation schema that is not in fourth normal form uh, due to a non-trivial multivalue dependency must be decomposed to convert into a set of relations in the fourth normal form so the decomposition removes the redundancy caused by the multivalue dependency yes um, in this example here as you can see here there is a multivalue dependency okay so here you have non-trivial multivalue dependency as you can see here smith multi determines project name smith determines multi determines x and you can see smith determines y and also smith determines anna and smith determines john so here uh, employee name multi determines project name employee name multi determines department name as well okay as you can see here employee name multi determines project name and employee name multi determines department name and here employee name is not a super key of r sorry not a super key of employee so in that case so we need to decompose it to convert into fourth normal form so we need to decompose this table so we just decompose it as you can see here we decompose employee in employee projects and employee departments de dependence okay so now i can say that this is a trivial multivalue dependency because employee name union project name is nothing but employee projects attributes of employee projects and also you can see here employee name union de uh, dependent name is nothing but employee dependent so this is a trivial multivalue dependency but as per the definition of fourth normal form a relation schema r is in fourth normal form with respect to a set of function function dependency if for every non trivial multivalue dependency x determines y in f x should be the super key of r okay yes uh, but still this is a trivial functional dependency and uh, yes and now i can say that this is in the fourth normal form okay okay the next is joint dependency uh, the fifth normal form is based on the joint dependency okay um, yes let us understand the basics of joint dependency a relation schema r when divided into r1 and r2 has the lossless property if the natural join is applied that is applied that is r star r and we will get the original relation now see uh, we have relation schema r and we divide it into we divide it into r1 and r2 and again join this r1 and r2 using natural join and if we get the original relation r then i can say that uh, these two decompositions are lossless uh, uh, decomposition okay this i can say that there is a lossless property okay the same thing is joint dependency a joint dependency denoted by jd r1 r2 and r uh, let's say uh, this r r is a relation schema where r1 r2 till rn uh, is a decomposed uh, relation okay so the constraint state that every legal state r of r should have a non additive joint decomposition so which means if you break if i decompose r to r1 r2 rn and then i perform a natural join like this uh, using asterisk i should get original st relation state i shouldn't get any additive or i shouldn't uh, uh, get any lossy data i should i should get a original uh, r so that property is called as a joint dependency i just break the relation r to r1 and r2 and rn and again i perform a natural join and if i get the original data back after performing a natural join and then i can say uh, this property is called as join dependency so we just understood about the join dependency now we'll understand what is fifth normal form uh, yeah before understanding fifth normal form we'll understand what is trivial join dependency a join dependency that is jd r1 r2 till rn specified on the relation schema r is a trivial joint dependency if one of the relation schema r in 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 the joint dependency r1 r2 till rn is equal to r which means if i consider a relation schema r and if i divide those r into r1 r2 till rn if any any of those decomposed relation ri is equal to r 
so then it is called as a trivial multi uh, trivial joint dependency okay uh, yes let us look into the definition okay so before going to the definition of uh, uh, fifth normal form uh, let us understand the the two conditions which is required to satisfy the condition of fifth normal form the first condition is r should be in fourth normal form yes so the relation should also be in fourth normal form if i want to prove it as it is in fifth normal form it should be in a fourth normal form second it cannot undergo lossless decomposition which means further it uh, the relation can cannot decompose further if you try to decompose further uh, you will get lossy data or additive data which means uh, yeah I, which means i cannot decompose the data further yes uh, Yes, we'll see the definition of uh, fifth normal form. A relation schema R is in fifth normal form. Yes, with respect to the function dependencies, uh, with respect to a set of uh, function dependency, multi-value dependency, and joint dependency. Okay. Yes, for every non-trivial joint dependency, uh, JD, that is R1, R2, and Rn, every Ri should be the super key of R. Yes, so as you can see here, um, yeah, this is we have relations. Uh, the relations with no multi-value dependency. We don't have any multi-value dependency, and it is not in fifth normal form because it has some of the joint dependencies. What do you mean by joint dependency? If I break this entire relation into into R1, R2, and R3, and again again perform join join these three table. I will get original data back. As per the fifth normal form, the relation schema should be such that it cannot be further decomposed. If I try to decompose further, I may get lossy data. Okay, so yes, as you can see, compare R1, R2, and R3. Uh, as, as as you can see here, R1 here is uh, is in fifth normal form because I cannot uh, further uh, decompose it. If I try to uh, decompose further, uh, yes, uh, you will. Uh, you'll get a lossy data so thus i can say that r1 r2 and r3 here is a is in fifth normal form your r1 r2 r3 is in fifth normal form okay yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching this video